Yo, what's up, you guys? It's Polly Shore and my friend here, Mike. What's up, Mike? Hey. And welcome to my show called Polly Shore Shit I Know Nothing About. And obviously, there's a fitness guy here, Mike, which we'll get into in a little bit. And then you have me, who's a fitness guy, but not at the level that you're in. Um, obviously, so first of all, thank you for being on I'm my welcome. show. Appreciate <laughs> hey, it. You're welcome. Nice to see you. Mike is a gentleman that I, um, can I say gentleman? Yeah. Gentleman. Of Gentleman, yes. A gentleman that I, um, I know from Gold's Gym, right? Yeah. And I picked up on you, right? <laughs> Not in a gay way, but in a way like, yo, you're my friend. Hey, whatever works. Right. And uh, and and I'm always. You see me at the gym, right? Oh yeah, like all the time. Yeah, all the time. And then, and what do you think when you see me at the gym? Like I'm a nice guy and stuff. Oh no, you've always been really, really nice. Yeah. I remember the first time I met you. <laughs> We talked, and then the next day I saw you, and I walked to the gym, and you were like, "Hey, Mike!" And you were like fifty feet away. <laughs> and I was, I was yelling like, at you hey. across the gym. Yeah, really? Yeah. What was that like? No, yeah, it was cool. It was fine. Yeah, it was cool. It was just, you've always been really nice. Yeah. Yeah. You're always cool. Yeah. And um, <clears throat> so I guess we have to get into the stuff that I don't know, know a lot about. I mean, uh, you know, fitness is such a big thing now, obviously for the world. It's not just in Los Angeles, and um, and, uh, uh, I mean, it's difficult, you know, you hear so many stories about, excuse me, I have to burp one sec. Hey. Sorry, sorry about no that. <laughs> so, you hear so many stories about uh, uh, diet versus, dirt versus, you know, weights versus, you know, uh, you know, cardio, this and that. Can you kind of tell me, if you look at me and you tell me, like, if you were my, because you're a trainer too. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. obviously. And business. Excuse me, but <laughs> sorry, I had a, a thing of pizza. Sorry. So, um, so, but the thing is, like, if you, if I, I were to be training with you, what would you, you know, like, I'm here, like, hey, and then my first day with Mike, what's up? What would you do? Look at me. Like, I without would, being funny, for real. Like, no, no. I seriously, do? I would just tell you that. But look at me. I'm right here. <clears throat> sorry. Um, I would basically talk to you and tell you that you know, there's a, a whole different aspects of ways to get in shape. Everybody has their own thing. You know, I try and find out exactly what your goals were, what you were looking what for. What is my goals? Look at my fucking body and my face. What do you think? I mean, well, no, look I at mean, me, Mike. <laughs> for real. No, I see you. I see you. Out of, out of respect, what would, um, what would you do? I would tell you first one about nutrition, because you can you can you can work out all you want. You mm. can be in there every single day, but if your nutrition and your diet sucks, yeah. you're not going to see any results. So nutrition is like a third of what's going on. Right. Working out. Is a third of what's going on. You've got to get in the gym. You got to work out really hard. If you eat really well, mm -hmm. you know, but you're not working out, you're not going to see the yeah. results that you want and to see. And what's that pink thing you have down there? Can you show us what that is? He's got this pink jug. Is that Gatorade or no, no, this, no? That's water with some shit in it. It's water and it's just crystal light. Like yeah. I, I try and drink at least a gallon or a Let gallon and half of water thing. a day. Yeah. So, so this if it's is water, crystal light, guys. So, because I see Mike at the gym. <laughs> Everyone always Mike thinks it's gym. like something special. Can I taste it? Yes. Yeah, or just... wait, no, here, let me, guys, I don't want to give you any of my herpes. No, I'm just kidding. I have herpes. <laughs> no, but my, my thing is, is that, because I see it here. Let me, no, 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 that's water. Here, pour oh. it in there. So, this is crystal light. Let me yeah. taste this here. And you drink everything, like, so what's in it? It's just crystal light. It's like fruit punch. So, what is it? Um, it's just basically. Why uh, do you take it? It's a flavoring for my water. I try and drink about a gallon and a half of water mm. a day. And if it's water, I swear, like, I'll carry this thing around with me all day. At the end of the day, there'll be like this much gone. Coffee. But if I put some flavoring in it, it's, it's a, a way to trick myself yeah. that I'll just constantly drink it throughout the whole day. Like, I've already drank a gallon already today. Wow. And, and so. Why is it important? So, so really, you're just saying that's pink water? Pretty much. It's pink with water. a little bit of flavoring. It tricks me into drinking more. If it's water, I've tried it over and over. Like I'll stop and I'll say, I'm not going to use it anymore. I'm just going to drink water. I'm going to really try and stick to just water. And the whole day will go by and there'll be barely anything left. Yeah. But if I just put some crystal light in it, I'll drink like a gallon, a gallon and a half a but, day. Easy. But let me ask you something. Why, uh, why is water such a big deal? Well, because wanna... everyone always says that you got to drink more water, drink more water. It helps flush out the toxins. Mm. It keeps you healthier. It keeps you hydrated. You know, it's just a lot healthier for your body to drink a lot of water. I mean, your body's made up a majority of water. Right. And without it, you know, it can cause kidney problems. It can right. cause issues with your body. So right. it's always a good idea 
to drink a good amount of water every yeah. single day. Yeah. And this is just a way for me to trick myself yeah. into actually drinking. Yeah. It. My friend Doug, Doug, uh, he lives in Dallas. He he told me to, to get that pill where you inject it. Was it HDHC? What's it called? The, the human growth hormones. Yeah, human growth. What's hormone? it called? HD what? HGH. Yeah. What is that? Because he says he shoot. He I mean he does. He shoots it in his stomach. Yeah. And it makes him more. He says he likes to fuck all the time. No, he's fifty. No, dude, seriously. No, no, he's no. He's fifty, I mean, and he's like, because I'm fifty, so it's like, fuck, dude. Like, you know what I mean? A lot of um. Uh, yeah. Is it called HG? Is it HGHG? What is it? HGH. HG. What does that stand for? Human growth hormone. Human growth hormones. Yeah. And you go and you inject. You can get it from like they have like you know those uh, what are those 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 doctors that like those life extension doctors. Or yeah, whatever. that's you what go he does in Dallas. And they'll prescribe HGH to you, and it basically it kind of turns the clock back a little bit. You know. <laughs> is that You're good? Both, have you tried it? I've tried it before. Is like, it through good? A doctor. Yeah, no, it is. Do you think I should do it? Is it gonna make me want to fuck more or what? Everybody reacts differently to different drugs. Everybody does. Does it make like, my balls shrivel up or no? No, it won't. It has nothing to do with your test. I mean, it is, uh, it's yeah. not like you're taking testosterone. Right. Um, but it will. It's like it. Uh, it helps. You know, it help you uh, build muscle. It helps. Like women will take it like for their hair and for wow. their nails and like it's just like so it's it almost like turn back to the hands of time a little bit. Wow. Yeah, so my friend Doug skin. is on it. Dougie, yo, you're right. Human growth hormones. <laughs> Tell him it's cool. No, it, is, it works really well. A lot of people take it. Housewives take it. I mean, so many people take it right now, but there's always this really bad stigma with steroids or HGH or any of these things. And a lot of these things are actually really good if you're smart with it and you and do you it like do it a lot. Uh, if you if you. If you do it in a smart way right. and you're constantly checking in on your yeah. health and you're getting blood panels and you're doing it under a doctor's yeah. supervision, a lot of these things can help give you a better quality of life. Yeah. But there's always somebody like out there that just, you know, without the basic knowledge of what you really need to know is going to get out there and tell you something right. that's bad. And then also, I mean, no, dis no disrespect at all, but am I allowed to use the word steroids with you? I'm I mean, they're saying, out there. Well, I'm just saying, it's like you're a big guy. Obviously, people that, are, that aren't that are educated might look at you and go, oh, this guy's on steroids. For anybody that's... I mean, yes or no? Are you on steroids or not? Or have you done it before and you stopped it? I or, have done them in the past. Is it good? I mean, it can I be, again, like steroids. anything, anything like under, like, you can get, like, that life extension doctor can prescribe you steroids, you know? And it's a different way. It's like if you anything like if you're doing it under a doctor's supervision. supervision, and you're getting your health checked constantly to make sure. I mean, obviously, any drugs like do you have a that doctor you can that take, I, do you have a doctor that you can introduce me that can give me steroids? I, actually, um, actually, there's one in Santa Monica. Is he cool? I forgot his name, but I could. You will know, he give me get steroids? There. I don't know if he will. He'll have to actually go in and for a checkup. Well, if I say I want to look like Big Mike. Will he say, if I show him a picture of you, if he's watching, what's his name? I don't know if I can really, like, uh, speak it's not for illegal. somebody else. It's not illegal. Not if it's prescribed. Yeah, like, for instance, I'm a comedian. It's not like they're going to get me off stage because I'm on steroids. Now, if I was a golfer or a fucking football player, right, or one of these sports people, you, you can, can't do it. Yeah, you right? can, they have Boxing. rules for the... They have rules for those types of organizations on whether what things you can use. Hell, even if you're a gymnast, uh, you can't even take, like... Uh, like Advil, I forgot what it was, but I remember right. uh, the little girl who won the world championships. Whoa, bro, she, sexual harassment, dude. What the fuck, Big Mike? No, I'm she had kidney stones and she couldn't take, she was taking like aspirin, you know, when she was competing at the world championships. Wow. And she couldn't take it. anything that was on the list. So she actually won a world championship while she was in pain the whole time. Right. And did you, have you ever done like bodybuilding stuff? Like yeah. for competitions? I was. How old are you? You told me 52, right? No, I'm not 52. 46. Not 26. No, how t you told me a while ago how you were at the gym. Yeah, I'm like no, 20, because you're 26. good look. Good, good. 26. You're 26, 26 okay. 26. Where are you from? Uh, uh, East Coast? Yeah, I'm from Fucking Florida. East Coast. And Louisiana. Oh, Florida's sick. What part of Florida? Uh, right outside of Tampa, Clearwater. Dirty city. No, not, not Tampa's a little dirty. Yeah, right? no, outside of that, Clearwater. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, uh, <clears throat> sorry, I got on a little tangent there. So... So, but uh, but you're saying if it's under a doctor's supervision, it's cool. Yeah, I mean it's anything. Cool, yeah. you, I mean, obviously, people can have adverse reactions to anything. Mm -hmm. People die from Tylenol, you know. But uh, if you're under a doctor's supervision and it's done the right way, you know, yeah. it can actually add quality to your life. Right. You just have to do things. Whatever you're doing, you have to do it in the right way. Yeah. So if I said to you, I said, Mike, I want you to be my trainer, and I also want to do some sort of a HGHB or what? What's it called? HGH. HGH, some type of thing. You'd hook me up with the doctor in Santa Monica. We would get on something, diet, and I'd, and, and I'd look, because 
look at my body for real. Like, obviously, I don't do that, but would it make me better? I mean, it, look it, at me. Yeah, it can. <laughs> what do you uh, think? No, I mean, like, it's definitely would help your with the quality of life. Mm. You know, um, if a doctor prescribes you HGH and maybe testosterone, after the age of 30, your testosterone in your body normally decreases. Mm. So by the time you're in your late 30s and 40s, it can mm. have decreased. I mean, you obviously want to get your blood panel done to see where your testosterone is normally. And if it's low, which most guys when they're 40, it is low, you're put on uh, TRT, which is testosterone, mm. testosterone replacement therapy. Yeah. And that's something that can actually then you'll probably have sex like a 20 year old. Yeah. Because all that's over what, again. Yeah, that's what I'd like to do. But I mean, and then what about all those things in conjunction, you know, your nutrition, mm. working out, and also cardiovascular training, mm -hmm. all those things work together in order to get you to the goals and to, in order for you to look the way that you really want to look. Right. So do you think there's hope for me? There's always hope. Believe, for, people like as they get older, they think there isn't, mm. but you can make so many changes no matter what your age you're at. I've seen people in their 30s, their 40s, their 50s, and their 60s yeah. look amazing. Yeah, because it's I just see, a matter of how much you put into it is yeah. how much you're going to get yeah, back yeah. out of it. Yeah, yeah. Because I see a lot of like those commercials of before and after people on TV. You a know, lot like, of that's crap. It is crap, right? Yes. They stand yeah. there like you can have a guy Look that's in total shape, before, stick his after. stomach out, yeah. and like stand there and hunch over and not have a tan, and then five seconds later they add color to him. He sticks up his chest, sucks his, sucks his stomach in, and all of a sudden he looks like a different person. Also, there's that seventy-year-old guy. He's like, I'm seventy. I mean, you know, you know what I mean? Yeah. And he's like, and they show him like a pop belly. Yeah. And then they show him like fucking on a jet ski after, and he's like cruising. Right? I mean, there are definitely people that have before and afters that are worth looking at, but a lot of that stuff is a crock of shit. Yeah. And then what about, like, some sort of a, um, uh, do you take a, because uh, I know around Gold's Gym, around the corner, there's that pill place where you can get uh, vitamins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the vitamins, nutrition shop right around the nutrition corner. Nutrition shop. Like, what would you suggest? Because you don't want to be too jittery. A lot of people take pills before they work out. You know, a lot, like of, time, a lot of times people take, you know, they take caffeine. Things, like pre workout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is something that will increase your NO2 levels and push blood into the muscles and will help you get a better pump and it'll actually give you some energy. Yeah. There's like different things in there like caffeine or ginseng, things that are gonna help you give you energy. And sometimes like it's good to try like get like sample packets of different kinds. Yeah. Cause sometimes like something may be normal for someone yeah, yeah, else yeah. and give them s some energy. Yeah. And if you take the same thing, it may cause you to be jittery. So it's right. good to try like get sample packets of different yeah. things and try them out and see what you what, feel what, works what, best yeah, for you. For you yeah. Because I see you walk around the gym, besides with your pink Gatorade there, I see you walk around with a Tupperware with with, with veggies and chicken in it. Yeah. You're big, right? You see me? Yeah, I yeah, watch yeah. you eat over there. You have like, right? I always bring all my food about with me. That, that I usually process. eat about six or seven times a day. Mm -hmm. uh, small probably meals. Bup, 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 small bup, bup, meals yeah. throughout the day, just depending on whether I'm gaining weight or losing weight. Yeah. Um, but, you know, at least six meals a day. And I, I cook all my food at home. Like, I make a bunch of chicken in a crock pot. You buy yourself? Uh, yeah, right down here. You know, I see there's a lot of gay guys at the gym. Yes. Are you gay? Yes. Oh my god, I knew it that you might... Mm. Go wide, go wide, you cocksucker. Go wide, dumbass. Are you wide? It's wide, way wide. Mm. So what do you think of all the Sexual gay Sexual harassment. What do you think of all the no. gay guys at the gym? It's crazy. I mean, it's cool. I mean, I've seen it it's for a good. long, long yeah, time. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah. You know, you're going to have a little bit of everything at every gym. Yeah. You know, it's just this gym uh, is in So are, you a, are so. you a pitcher or a catcher? Or both? I'd say both. I had this girl put something in my butt recently. That was pretty interesting. How'd they go? It was pretty fun. Anyways, so that's <laughs> it, you guys. I think Mike is... It, this is our first interview together. I definitely think he's a... We're going to put this interview online. Okay. And we're going to see how people respond if they want to see you back. And then we can continue this relationship. No, it sounds good. What do you think? No, it's good. Is it cool? Yeah, it's fine. I always I'm like, good. Mike, this is probably sure shit I know nothing about. And that was Mike, my friend. Do you want to plug your social media? Do you have social media? Yeah, I do. I'm on Instagram. It's Mike Ergus, E-R-G-A-S, IFBB Pro. And that's what I'm on Instagram. Yeah, and thank you for being cool. Oh, you're dude. welcome. Yeah, we always have fun at the gym. And then when I see him next time talking to a couple dudes, I'm going to be like, yo, Mike, it's me, the guy that likes stuff in his butt, bro. We're good. We're good. Later, dudes. Bye. <laughs> Later. Thanks.